Hello, it's Fast Charlie, and I've got a dimple lock here. It's a Yale rim cylinder. It's a six pin, and uh, it works absolutely perfectly. I'm going to try to get in here so I can show you what's in here. It's pretty cool. I'm going to see if this flag will work. Bit on two. One. Three feels pretty good. Four feels pretty good. The whole thing loosened up just a little bit. Got a little bit of a false set. Felt like five. You know, much deeper false set now. in that deep false set. Felt like it was gonna go. My pick got caught. Six. Come on. Did I lose something in the meantime? Oh, my pick got caught again. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, I think five and six are set now. One came back down. I'm not sure about two. There's four. Wow. Did one come back down? No. But two seems to have. not feel like it's quite the right pick to be using. There we go. Yeah, I was really struggling with this pick. It was anytime I have modified it a bit. Um, I modified it for multi locks and it didn't quite work out. <laughs> so I made my own for that I've been using for multi locks. And uh, that one just didn't, it just wasn't fitting well. We'll get this awesome pinning tray that I received from. Actually, I'm gonna use. They're both from Bobby Keys. I'm gonna use this one because these are a little bit longer. Um, got it from Bobby Keys, and I believe that this is his design, and this is, I believe, a West Coast Picks design. But so handy to have many, many pinning trays to use. 
while making challenge locks and just picking locks. And I should be okay just to go. Nothing has been done to the plug. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of pins that are very close to the shear line. Um, one, a little bit of picking, but two, three, and four just don't didn't have to do too much to them. But I'm suspecting that they did present an overset risk. These pins are a little bit smaller. They, I don't know if they're. They look bigger than. Uh, they look bigger than American pins. I'm guessing they're like 98 or something like that. 98 thousandths. That would be my guess. I know that's what some of the other dimple locks that I've um, that I've picked were. I believe that's what they were. Where Master and, and Americans are 93 thousandths. Don't pickle me too much if I'm wrong. Okay. Well, there's some long, long, long standard key pins there. And in one, we've got like a standard two I got a short standard driver well that is a very long key pin and three we've got a spool we'll check that and see how interactive that is four uh, another short standard standard driver five five we got a spool and six another spool very cool and we'll just knock out these springs here okay we got one they're all copper Two, three, four, <laughs> five, and six. Nothing's been done to that Bible. That's a fun lock. I need to definitely want to check this out though. Number three. So I'm sure only really five and six come into play. Oh yeah, that one really get into play. It would start off feeling like a standard for sure. Wow, that's those sit down there pretty deep. That's pretty cool. All right, well, that is the Yale rim cylinder dimple lock. Uh, interesting keyway. The warding definitely, well, it was grabbing my picks, but I don't have too much experience with dimple locks. Just trying to uh, branch out and get into them a little bit more. And uh, I'm sure I will learn what pick I should be using to not get caught up in that warding because I thought I was gonna <laughs> have to dig my pick out of there um, alright well thanks for watching and uh, be good and be well